review, 2016 Honda Odyssey What's new for 2016 for 2016? The Honda Odyssey gets a special edition say trim that takes several features from the range topping touring elites and puts them in a more affordable package. Otherwise, the Odyssey is unchanged for 2016. Introduction Let's say you've got two kids and one on the way. Then your wife calls you. Surprise, she says it's actually going to be twins. Less dramatically, perhaps you and several friends want to get away for a weekend, but nobody wants to double the gasoline bill by taking two cars. Either way, you're going to need the right vehicle. And for situations like these, there are few vehicles better than the 2016 Honda Odyssey. While a three-row SUV can also accommodate you and everyone else, the third-row seat is typically cramped, and luggage space is modest when it's deployed. The Odyssey's vast cabin, in contrast, ensures that both second- and third-row passengers will be comfortable, even if they are adults. The second row is highly configurable, too, particularly on the X trim and above you can spread the seats apart to create more shoulder room or slide them around to open up more third row space. Even with the third row in use, there are a useful 38.4 cubic feet of space in the rear to store luggage, strollers or whatever else you've got. Sexy it is not. But the 2016 Honda Odyssey is a great choice for a Doital vehicle. But this Honda isn't just about functionality. Even in its space trim, the Odyssey comes pretty well equipped with features such as a power driver seat, a backup camera and separate air conditioning controls for front and rear passengers. Additional creature comforts, including a touchscreen interface, a rear seat entertainment system and rear sunshades are available on the higher trim levels. Another Odyssey hallmark is the way it drives. It's far from being a sports car, but among many vans, it's an agile handler, and its 3.5-litre V6 delivers quick acceleration and high fuel economy. As good as the Odyssey is, there are other many vans that are also worth checking out. The Toyota Sienna is fresh off a recent update, and it offers available all-wheel drive. The Nissan Quest is smaller but boasts a smooth ride and highly configurable seating of its own. We've grown fond of the Kia Sedona's crossover-inspired styling and front cabin during its long-term stay with us. You can also spend less and still get a fully functional van in the form of the Dodge Grand Caravan. But overall, Honda's Odyssey remains a top choice for when your life is, for better or worse, begging for a minivan. Body styles, trim levels, and options The 2016 Honda Odyssey minivan is offered in six trim levels, LX, X, say, EXL, Touring and Touring Elite. The base 7-passenger LX model is well equipped with 17-inch steel wheels, rear privacy glass, a rear spoiler, manual two-zone air conditioning, active noise cancellation, an eight-way power driver seat, a four-way power front passenger seat, a 6040 split folding third row seat, a tilt handless coping steering wheel, full power accessories, cruise control, an eight-inch infotainment display, Bluetooth phone and audio connectivity a rear-view camera and a seven-speaker audio system with a CD player, Pandora compatibility, an auxiliary audio input jack and a USB port. Moving up to the eight-passenger X model gets you 17-inch alloy wheels, automatic headlights, heated mirrors, power sliding side doors, keyless ignition and entry, which an automatic climate control, tower power lumbar adjustment for the driver a multi-adjustable second row seat, a removable front center console, second row sunshades and a conversation mirror. The X also features Honda's Lane Watch blind spot camera system and an additional 7-inch touchscreen with Honda Link smartphone app integration including smartphone-enabled AHA radio features. The SE includes a 115-volt household-style power outlet an integrated vacuum cleaner, 
satellite radio and a rear seat entertainment system. The XL gives up the size edition of features except satellite radio but adds a power liftgate, forward collision and lane departure warning systems, a sunroof, a chilled storage box, leather seating front and outboard second row and heated front seats. Options include a choice of a voice operated navigation system with an upgraded rear view camera or the rear seat entertainment system with the 115 volt power outlet. These two systems can't be ordered together on the XL. You will have to move up to at least the XL trim to get navigation on the 2016 Honda Odyssey. Step up to the touring model and you gain 18 inch alloy wheels, fog lights, front and rear parking sensors, driver memory settings, the 115 volt power outlet, retractable third row sunshades and a fold down armrest for third row passengers. Additionally, both the navigation and rear seat entertainment systems are standard. Finally, the Touring Elite adds Xenon headlights, a regular blind spot warning system the blind spot camera is nixed, the vacuum, an upgraded rear seat entertainment system with a widescreen video monitor and HDMI input and a premium 12 speaker surround sound audio system with HD radio. Power trains and performance The 2016 Honda Odyssey is powered by a 3.5-litre V6 that produces 248 horsepower and 250 pound-feet of torque. Power is sent to the front wheels through a six-speed automatic transmission. EPA estimates are very good for a minivan at 22 miles per gallon combined 19 city 28 highway, and we achieved close to 21 miles per gallon in real world mixed driving. At the test track, a touring elite accelerated from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 8 seconds, which is about average for the minivan class. Properly equipped. The Honda Odyssey can tow up to 3,500 pounds. Safety The 2016 Honda Odyssey comes standard with anti-lock disc brakes, stability and traction control, front seat side impact airbags, side curtain airbags that cover all three rows and front seat active head restraints. A rear view camera is standard on all models with an upgraded mulch angle rear view camera available as an option on the EXL and standard on the Touring and Touring Elite. Odyssey X and above models come with Honda's Lane Watch blind spot camera system, but Touring Elite models replace it with a conventional blind spot monitor. Forward collision and lane departure warning systems are standard on the EXL, Touring and Touring Elite models. Though it should be noted that this collision warning setup lacks the auto braking feature found in many similar systems. In simulated panic stop testing, an Odyssey stopped from 60 miles per hour in 128 feet, slightly longer than average for vehicles in this segment. The Odyssey earned 5 out of 5 stars for overall crash protection and government tests with 5 stars for total frontal impact safety and 5 stars for total side impact safety. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety gave it a top rating of good for its performance in the frontal offset tests both small and moderate overlaps and the side impact and roof strength tests. It also earned a top rating in the seat head restraint whiplash protection test. Interior design and special features as befits a purpose-built people mover, the 2016 Odyssey's interior offers a wide array of seating arrangements. Particularly noteworthy is the multifunction second row seat that can be adjusted to create a middle aisle or side aisle for easier third row access. On necks and higher trim levels. The center portion of the second row bench can slide forward more than 5 inches to put the youngest passenger's car seat within easy reach of mom or dad. The second row outboard seats can also slide away from the center, allowing plenty of room for three car seats side by side. The Odyssey's cabin has many other clever features, like the handy flip up trash bag holder built into the removable center console or the cooling compartment that means a refreshing beverage is always close at hand. 
The large touchscreen included on all but the base LX model also serves as a rear view camera display and provides access to audio system features, including popular apps like Pandora and Aha. The remaining controls are sensibly arranged and clearly labeled in a way that makes everything very user friendly. The 2016 Honda Odyssey Say and Touring Elite come with a built in vacuum. You supply the Cheerios and dog hair. Buyers who simply must have all the toys will gravitate to the Touring Elite model, which includes a rear seat entertainment system built around a widescreen monitor that can play two different sources a DVD and a video game, for example, at the same time. This top off the line model, like the new for 2016 Odyssey, say also comes equipped with Honda's unique built in vacuum with a 10 foot hose capable of reaching crumbs in every corner of the cabin. When it comes to hauling things, the Odyssey's cavernous interior is remarkably flexible. Even with a full load of passengers, there are still a generous 38.4 cubic feet of space behind the third row. Folding the 6040 split third row seat into the floor is simple and creates a 93.1 cubic foot cargo hold behind the second row. The downside to the design of those second row seats 55 pounds each quickly becomes apparent when you discover they must be removed from the vehicle to make full use of the Odyssey's 148.5 cubic feet of total cargo capacity. Driving impressions While the 2016 Honda Odyssey is technically down a few horsepower compared to rivals like the Toyota Sienna and Kia Sedona, these vans perform similarly in both our acceleration tests and real-world driving situations. The Odyssey's V6 has more than enough juice to merge confidently on the freeway or overtake slower cars on the open road. Class-leading steering precision and the confidence-inspiring handling make the Odyssey feel smaller and more car-like than it actually is. Thanks to active noise cancelling technology, wind and road noise are held to pleasantly low levels, a difficult feat for what is essentially a big box on wheels. <laughs>